Hi, good morning everyone. So on this rare occasion that I have two Devil's Edge Xiphos with me, just before I return one of them, uh, I wanted to look at, uh, at both of the blades and see some of the workmanship uh, consistencies or inconsistencies, just to point out things that may be improved in the second or third or whatever run that they make. So let's look at them right now. On the right hand, I have the one that I call uh, maybe the the more well-made uh, Xiphos. Uh, this one does have some flaws, but it is uh, kind of nice. Uh, on the hilt uh, <coughs> here on the, on the guard area, you can see that there is uh, some space left uh, between the blade and the guard. It is not perfect but it's still kind of nice. You can see it has some substantial machining left unpolished which is also kind of a small spot nitpicking but gotta show it to you. And uh, this is pretty much it. I mean it is very symmetrical leaf shaped and uh, that's it. On the other hand this one which the hilt guard guard to blade assembly is much nicer I mean there's no no gaps whatsoever and just that some machinings on the end which were left uh, unpolished uh, you can see that the center of the blade is not aligned with this groove on the other one it is and you can see on this side also and uh, the most uh, discomforting thing about this blade, it is not symmetrical. I don't know if I can show it to you, but this side here <laughs> looked like the person who did it was kind of off that day. And the worst thing is that there is some kind of uneven symmetry here in the middle. You can see, maybe you can see it right there. It is alternate. And yeah, this is, I think, a better view this area here just goes in and also on this side I'll take it far so this blade is just not so symmetrical okay so that's the two kind of differences one is very straight and very well made at the hilt but the, the center line is not centered so much and the shape is just not symmetrical and the other one doesn't have that complete hilt assembly, you know, snug fit, but it is very symmetrical. One last thing I want to point out is that the steel is 1095, although it's very sharp and it works uh, fine on cutting things, it does, it is a bit flexy or a bit let's say soft on the edge here I just did very light chopping with it not full force like I did with my condor machete or navy cutlass and the edge already has a roll here in this area I, I fixed most of it but, but not really up to 100% so and the tip also got the few stabbings the tip got bent that was easily fixed Still not 100%, but you can see it's a bit bent I, even after I tried fixing it. So just to point out these things, uh, this rolled up edge and the tip bending a bit. And one of these will definitely go back. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.